This is an IDX Broker Platinum tutorial on how to add, edit, and manage your agents within your IDX Broker Platinum admin panel. The first thing you're going to do is you are going to log into your admin panel. You're going to come over here to Users and Agents and Import. Now, I have already probably imported your agents into your account, or if you aren't working with me and your site needs me.com, then you would just normally go to users and agents and import and you click show available agents. All of the current agents that have already been imported into your account are going to be shown here with check marks next to them. If you have an agent that is a brand new agent and you click on show available agents, they'll show up here with that box that has no check mark in it. For instance, Christy Phillips. So we're going to go ahead and check her name and click import selected agents. And you see this little success message saying the agent has been imported successfully. Now, what you want to do if you want to manage these agents is simply click on the drop down and go to manage. Now you're going to get a list of all of the agents that you currently have. You can show more entries by clicking this drop down box and choosing a larger number, and it's going to show you more agents. If you want to edit these, the information that you see here, you can easily quickly edit by just clicking the little pencil mark here, and it'll let you edit it real quick real quick without having to go into the entire page or if there's something in here that you need to add uh, for an email you can again click over here for email and you can change all the different information for these agents just these basic fields right here on the admin screen if you want to do more than just uh, edit the first name last name user ID email category um, you can come over here and click the pencil right here and then you're going to have access to more information so now you can actually edit um, their address, their role, their phone numbers, their bios, everything here. You can click on office. If you have multiple offices, you can choose which office they're a part of. You can upload their photo. You can choose which MLS they're a part of if you have multiple MLSs. Or actually, this is their MLS ID. So you want to make sure that this is going to match the person that it is. So, for instance, we are working with Kimberly Avery and we want to make sure that she's the one that's chosen from the drop down. Subheader is going to be something maybe she wants to have a special image or graphic above her profile. Maybe she has some branding or something like that. We can put it up above there. Permissions, you're going to give her permissions on what she can do in her own agent account, which I'll have a separate tutorial about that. But I usually check all these and give them all the permissions except for reassigning leads because you don't want an agent to be able to reassign leads to themselves, somebody else's. It's going to warn you if you do make some changes. Right now I haven't, I, I don't want to save any, so I'm going to go ahead and say no. But if you do choose to save uh, any changes, it's going to ask you if you forget to save it and you can go ahead and save it right there. So in this case, uh, we're going to go ahead and this is where you would add in the person's web address. And you can add in anything that you want for their web address, whatever their web address is, you would add it here. And then for a text display link, you can put click here to visit my website, my personal. If you click redirect to personal website, when somebody clicks on her name from your website, it's going to automatically redirect here. We really don't want to do that. Um, it's better if they stay on your website because you're the broker and you're paying for this. So you can always have the link to their website. We do want to display it on the roster and enable it to be clickable. So we're going to save that. And notice it does show you the green sign over here. Property update. Um, if they want to be CC'd on, an, on a summary at the end of the week, if they want uh, individual updates when one of their leads send, asks for updates by, by email, then that's what this is. They can change that here. They can change it themselves. If they speak different languages, you can change it right here. You can just simply check the language that they speak and then hit the save button. And CRM integration, um, if they have a specific top producer account, they can actually push all of their leads directly to the top producer or try this group. Now as far as offices go, you can actually manage your offices here and add in offices. It works the exact same way as the agents. You're going to go ahead and uh, add your office by going offices and create and it's going to give you all the information that you need to add an office in here and photo, update, all of that. It's not going to let you continue until you add the information in. Agents has the same thing. You can actually create an agent in here. If it doesn't show up when you go to uh, import and it, they don't show up there, you can just create them yourself if you want. 
So it's basically just filling in all the same exact information that I just went through. Rosters is going to give you your rosters. So you can look at um, either one of your rosters and view your agents. And in here, you're going to see all of the agents that you have. And over here, you're going to see agents that haven't been assigned to a specific age, uh, specific roster. In this case, um, we have a couple of agents over here under not displayed. And in order to display them, you want to just come over here and click the plus sign. And then they're automatically added over here. And what you can do is you can go ahead and click sort ascending or sort descending or random sort. And it will randomly sort these agents for you in whatever way you want them to be sorted. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it at sort ascending. And I'm going to save changes. Now I did notice that Christy Phillips is in here and her name is all in uppercase. And we don't want that to be like that. We want it to actually um, be just like the other agents because that kind of looks funny for her. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. I'm going to go back to Agents and Manage. I'm going to look for Christy. And there she is. Click out. I'm going to click over here in Phillips. So that was perfect. It gave me the ability to show you. Oops. All right, it's not going to let me edit it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and click on Edit Agent, and I'm going to change her here. And then I'm going to come down here and hit Save. There we go. Go back to Manage. And now she looks normal, so we're good. She does need to get an email in here, though, so that we can add her email address in here, and she can receive email updates. So this is how you're going to manage your agents. And if you want, uh, when you're done, you can come to Export, and you can manage your exports that you currently have, or you can create an export. If you need some specific information, one of the things that I use this for is to export the username and password for all my agents so that I can give that to uh, the person that's going to send out any agents the email that directs them on how to use their agent control panel. So that's a handy way to do this. You can export that. When you click export, it's going to open it up in a CSV file and you can just open that up and you can see all of your uh, username and passwords. Now in this case, you're also going to notice that there are no passwords for these agents because typically the agent has to, the agent is going to change it or you're going to set those passwords. So one of the things that you're going to have to do prior to giving your agents access to their control panel is give them a password. In order to do that, you're going to come in here to Agents, you're going to click on Manage, and you're going to go ahead and manage each agent and give them a password. And typically what I do is I set it as their last name. So in Kimberly's, I would put A-B-R-Y, and I would actually A-B-R-Y, A-B-R-Y, go ahead and delete that, and then Save. Now I'm going to go ahead and click out, and then I'm going to go ahead and click back into her, make sure she has one, she does, okay. So you just have to put it in the top one. Each of the agents needs to have a password. That way when you send them their email, you can give tell them that their username is, you know, their email address and their password is their last name and no capital letters, just their last name all in lowercase. Then they can go in and edit their own password later. So this is how you are going to manage your agents and your company. And if there's any questions, please contact me at charbennett at gmail.com. That's C-H-A-R-B-E-N-N-E-T-T -T at gmail.com. Or visit my website at www.yoursitemeetsme.com.